Hey yo guys, I'm Krigo and that is Crazy Peggy right yeah. over there. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome you. to a let's play of World of Warcraft Hardcore Classic. Peggy, we have to um, deliver all the missions. So if you do see something on the map that you did not deliver yet, please go ahead and deliver <laughs> it then, right? You know, because I'm not sure where that one is, you know, so you have to be careful. Though it is surely a figment of my mind. Congratulations. I feel as though I can almost feel the taint of foul, highborn magic upon them. I will have these destroyed so that their long, dormant evil might never be released again. Well met, adventurer. Your scouting of the Fur Bog situation comes at a fortuitous time for us in Aberdeen. For some time we have dealt with not only forest dwellers who are now openly hostile to our presence, but also the outright corruption of the forest itself. Hopefully you might be able to lend Auberdeen aid during these troubling times. The Cliff Spring River has begun turning foul and corrupted. It empties into the mist's edge, and I fear the wash will affect Auberdeen soon. I suspect the Blackwood Furbogs upriver are the cause of the taint, but I also suspect that they aren't the true root of it. Take this sampling tube and go to the mouth of the river to our north. Proceed inland to the first waterfall and draw a sample from the pool there. You'll see a bridge overhead. Once you have a sample, return to me in Auberdeen. You have done Auberdeen a great service, adventurer, but your task is not yet complete. Return to me once you have rested, and adventurer, prepare your mind and soul for more bloodshed. The survival of our people and lands comes at unfortunate costs, adventurer. You have spilled the blood of nature's servants. Many sick animals you have felled. The people of Oberdeen are indebted to you, for the forest's pain is eased. Even if only for a moment, I have one final task for you, but be warned, you will have to kill again. It is my hope that this will be the last time I call upon you, adventurer. In a cave to the northeast near Bashalaran, resides the Den Mother. Slay her. Wash the blood from your garments, adventurer. And do not mourn what you had to do. Instead, give thanks. You have lessened the threat to our people here in Oberdeen, even if Darkshore is still in jeopardy from the effects of Fell Moss. Adventurer, your skills have already helped me in my endeavor. Could I impose on you again to help Grimclaw and his master Volcor? In addition, I can craft you a magical cloak that will allow you to walk unhindered by Darkshore's creatures while you look for him. To create the cloak, I'll need five fine Moonstalker pelts from a Moonstalker sire or matriarch to have enough material. The cats can be found near Wild Bend River to the south, or even farther south near Ashenvale. Another discovery. Well done, adventurer. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. I have heard of the kinds of carriages found on the back of the turtle you found. Those, I do believe, are Naga carriages, used both in battle and in transportation of their supplies onto land. The markings on the box you found are of the Naga. This would explain their invasive presence in far northern Darkshore. I will send this box to Darnassus along with the rest of your discoveries. This is for you. Thank you again for your assistance. Oh, well, 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 that's a lot of missions that we have to get uh, through, Peggy, while we are waiting for you here. I, I, I spoke to Yololo because I have seen that character at a higher level, I believe, though. A couple of times already, so I just asked her or him a uh, new car, a uh, character, in other words, or the same one. Seeing you days ago here. Oh, that's crazy Peggy, though. Oh, yeah, don't come crashing. Oh, yeah. Club <laughs> boom, there you go. All right, Peggy, let's go to the trainer. Choop choop. Yololo is very antisocial, sadly. So I think, Peggy, I think Yololo died. That's why Yololo doesn't want to uh, to reply because he got red-handed. Oh, there we go. There we go. Same one, still alive. Awesome. Didn't we help Yololo, by the way? 
I think we did help your little, little ones. I am not sure though. But it took a while. I think that person was a little bit shaped to begin with. Deadly frog. Deadly squirrel. Oh, there you go. Oh, hunt hard. Awesome sauce. Yeah, that is a beautiful thing, though, huh? About, uh, whoa, hardcore. You remember people. Like the old days. Not like every server is connected together, though. That is so boring. You don't know who, who is who, right? You know? All right, Peggy, train over here and Welcome there. Welcome to the Cenarian Circle, adventurer. How may I assist you? And you here too, of course. To ah, still no new pet? tricks? Damn it. All right, Peggy, you can keep talking to me. I don't care, though. We are going to fight. Oh, yeah. Little moon canes. We should have done these ages ago, though, but whatever. I think we have to do this actually below ground. Is it? I don't know anymore. Hmm. Your bear was a little bit drifting, huh? There is a cave a little bit further back that goes probably below all of this. But I have seen another cave right now, so we probably have to go in there. Just in case, let's check it out. Yeah, it's below ground. All right. As I knew, as I knew, as I knew. But who? Wait a minute. Is that a red tip? Yeah! Nice! By the way, these uh, these nicely fit in, though, to an event that happens later on, right? You know, with the drain, eh? Let's see how smart Peggy is. Let's see how smart Peggy is. Alright, you know. Uh, Monkey would already have found me. As you can see, she's getting more and more distance to me from the map. She doesn't know how to read the compass. Ah, uh, now she did see me. She didn't see me. She was so close by. No, I'm not in there, Peggy. Oh my god, I got buffed too. Nice. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, big boy. Finally, Peggy did find me. Oh, <sighs> No choo choo, Peggy. No choo choo. You should be ashamed a little bit of that. You know that, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> you can really see, man, why I have back pain, right? You know? <laughs> I'm carrying her and a fucking bear on my back. All right, here we are, big boy. I am free to Freedom adventure. indeed. I can now see with my own eyes the changes that Take have come to our world. Take whatever, doesn't matter what, don't Only equip it. Sell it. Have I known. To think that when I last walked freely, the well still stood and wow, the highborn really? held court with Ajara, our beloved queen. I sensed that my jailer, my former master, Athricus, still lives. Already my feelings of hopelessness will give way into thoughts of vengeance. Wow, I mean, over 10,000 years. What is this? Gerber Blump has written me in mail? Peggy, you too probably, right? You have a mail icon too. We will see what that's all about. But wow, I mean, you know, like... Uh, isn't it a little bit uh, crazy, though? For 10,000 years, man, he has been imprisoned right there on the spot. Couldn't even stretch his legs. I know Illidan had something familiar, though, but uh, that's Ill uh, Illidan, right? You know, never liked the big man. I know he's something like a cult hero or whatever, but uh, only because you are not prepared. I got some badass swords, actually. Glaives, later they were re renamed in the weapon slot, I mean, of course, not by the name itself. 
Glaze of Isenov. You are not prepared. Then we kicked his ass, right? You know what I mean? Come on, boy. <laughs> He's a cool boss, though. Cool character. I like him for that. But I don't like him as a uh, with his personality. Oh, Peggy, stay close, right? We are going up the hills here. Oh, no. Oh, we are going a little bit further down. Stay close. Follow the choo-choo train, Peggy. My God, I feel like a like a creep, like a pervert or something like that, huh? I got a choo-choo train for you, dear little Peggy. Why don't you follow me home? Why don't you follow me into this cave over here? Oh, man. All right, somebody killed already two versions of it, maybe? Oh, my God, Peggy. Those are babies, you know that, right? <laughs> oh, Peggy, help me! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. One of them is on fire, as you can see. All right, Mama Bear is down. Very cool. Oh, this this mission must have killed so many people. I don't even know which bear is on bear. Damn it! All right, happy looting, Peggy. Happy looting, happy skinning. My 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 bear is half dead though, and so am I. Remember, Peggy, that I said this place is nice, atmos uh, atmospheric. You know, because of the darkness and everything like that, right? You know? Now it's getting dark in game. And the place is becoming way more atmospheric right now, though, huh? Nice, dark, a little bit more mysterious. You know, I love it. I love it long time, my dudes. All right, Peggy, we have to go down here. Hoppa. And then we have to go collect the sample of the water here. Is the little icon next to your quest? Yep. Don't move then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click it. No, okay, yeah. Now she's doing it. Very good, very good, very good. And then we have to go upstairs, right, you know. Almost level 16 and a half, though. I mean, the levels are going quick right now. And we have so much to, uh, well, to deliver, which is really nice after all the grinding. I wonder who Go Goober Blump is, though. Goober? Goober? I think it's Goober Blump or something. I don't know. Goober Blump. Interesting name, man. Oh, look at that. We have to click on this one. There you go. A very lovely... Alright, there we go, Peggy the Nagas. We have to kill the ones that were once elves, by the way. They were the highborn elves. They were cursed by or blessed by an old god. And now they are living on the bottom of the ocean and in this cave, apparently. Hmm. You have to click your something somewhere around here. Ah, the mushrooms. Alright. Peggy, you click on them first. Okay. I will click this one then. And then there's one. Uh, uh, uh. I think that Druid down there doesn't know what he has to do. Mewrun. Interesting name. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. Oh, even a death cap. Interesting name. Collect this one too, Peggy. If it doesn't disappear. Oh, it does. So we are waiting a second here. Just a little second. Uh, Peggy, you're under attack, but so am I though, right? 
so am I. Alright, big boy. Now he's stealing my little mushroom. Huh? Peggy, are you okay up there? I have to fight another one. Ah, oh, she went outside. That's dumb for one mushroom and the entire cave is full of it. Alright. Okay, she has three out of five, which is lovely. Aha! Aha! Oh, what the? I thought we had to rescue these big boys. Peggy, help me out with your pet, please. Oh, Peggy. I was helping you. I was rescuing you. And then you ignored me. My woman, the what the? My man, my woman, my elf, my bear. Everybody forsakes me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh man, so be it though. So be it, I suppose. Man, Krigo the Lonely, huh? Oh my god, Peg, what are you doing? No! Okay. Um, don't forget to heal your pet with F right now, I would say. Yeah, heal your pet with F. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Very good, very good. It only has to be attacked by one. Oh my god. Heal your pet if you can. Alright. Both of our pets are almost dead. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are these missions, though, huh? Bring the book, the powers below. Ah, we just have to kill them. Hmm. Lord of the Dings? Oh, my God. Such an old girl, if I remember correctly. Let's go back to the other one. Don't forget to feed your pet if you have to, right? I see it's a big fat smiley all the way from here. But oh boy. Mine just turned uh, into a frown. Into a normal, normal happy smile. Nothing special, right? But oh boy. Oh, this one first. Now, come on, big boy. Nicely, nicely, nice. 43 damage, not bad. Yeah, Peggy, we really need to find you a way better. Or shall I say, way, way, way better bow. It's about time, though. You still use your level 14 bow, sadly. Uh, level 10 bow, actually. Peggy sold her. Level 14 uh, green bow. It's a shame. But oh well. Less damage, but still doing really, really great together, though, I have to say, right? You know? We did a good job. By the way, if you wonder what we are doing here, Peggy, we are killing those, those dwarves uh, around here because we want to get a special book from them. You know, a cult book. And. I mean, while we are at it, why not just take him out, right, you know? Oh, yeah. And then we have a nice level 20 mission, so it is good and fitting, though, right, isn't it? Uh, walk a little bit further. Yeah, 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 very good. Oh, my God. Spawned right up to your booty. Ooh. Is that two gnomes? Yep, two gnomes. Oh, healing letter. Um, it doesn't really do much. It only helps your pet out a little bit more by, by by getting healed, though. Which is a very nice thing. Peggy, walk forward. Walk forward. There's an enemy there. Yep. And 
I'm going to disenchant it. Don't shoot just yet, though. Just send your pet towards it. All right, now you can shoot it. All right. Off to the next one. Both are down. Come on, little guy, huh? Give me what we are looking for. Or give us what we are looking for. It's all that we ever wanted, though. Oh. Oh. Do you want to wait here and grind, or do you want to go to the other one again? So after leveling up almost an entire level at this place, right, Peggy? Um, I did check it out. There is a place down south in the Barrens over there. As you can see, the power is below. That's where we can uh, get it to, right? So let's abandon this mission. Big boy is still there. Oh, maybe he gets it now. Maybe, baby. Ooh, no, <sighs> we don't get it. We are out of here. So yeah, we are out of here and uh, hopefully, you know, we are getting it there. But this, we almost died like four or five times. Peggy has panic in caves, bad memories. So when something goes wrong, it goes really wrong, right, Peggy? And uh, it's easy to pull more and more and they are spawning into you because, you know, the, the spawn rate, we kill them faster than that. The spawn rate really has a balancing way of balancing it out. It's a, it's a total mess, man, around here. So yeah, you know. It's a total mess. So it's better not to uh, continue the adventure over here. I might say. And we are running out of arrows too. So you know, it's really, really bad. Oh, damn it. Oh, behind us, Peggy. That one could have knocked us downstairs, man. That will be so dreadful. Oh, <laughs> imagine that, though, huh? Another one just spawns in. This is what I mean, right? This is a clear showcase of how dangerous it is to be in here. If you're farming for the book, don't ever do it here. Becky, what are you doing? Get your ass over here, woman. Ah! Let's go. Let's oh, there you go. This little gnome, by the way, wanted to have some help, right? You know, so why not? There's another one right over there. Pulling my ass. Oh, yeah. The gnome is just running for it. Good luck and bye-bye, bigger boy. I wish you well. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye indeed. Very polite, Peggy. Very polite. We have to go to the left here. We have to do some killings there. But oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We wasted like, say, over half an hour. If not... Yeah. Yeah, I think 35 minutes. Something like that. I had to do a fast calculation. My boys. What a waste. What a waste. All right, place a trap. Very good. You can skin them all, Peggy, if you want to. But I will attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Peggy. Help me out, woman. Help me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, though. Nice. Two fire on mama bear. Let's heal our little bear up very quickly. We have to find four skulls around here. I mean, isn't that a little bit extreme? Oh, by the way, Peggy, always send off your, your pet first, all right, you know? Who's that? Oh, the Toe Fiddler is still playing? What the? The Toe Fiddler. What a name, by the way, right? Oh, 
Why does it need four? Oh, Peggy got one. Oh, no, I got one scalp. Really? Interesting. It is weird, though. A little bit of a waste of a fire traps, but okay. Well, we don't have to kill all the scalps here. We can do that south too. It's a little bit weird, right? You know how things are looking at times here. Hmm, five there. There we go. Um, let's see. We have to deliver all the freaking quests, Peggy. Let's go, let's go. But first we want to sell something, I would say. Whatever she says, right? You know, whatever is floating her boat. Good luck. Good luck, uh, friend. Uh, as he said that, man, I was more like a lover at one time, though. So the crystal exists, adventurer? Fascinating. Anyway, your task has been well executed. Good work. What exactly is this crystal? This is but a single question in a sea of questions. Another question that comes to mind is why the Moonkin would be drawn to this object. Is the crystal benign in nature, or does it hold a more sinister purpose? I have many more questions, but we're going to need to examine that crystal closely to get some answers. Use this empty vial and fill up on some Moonwell water here in Aberdeen. Such potent magic should provide a clue as to the composition of the crystal. Talk to her. To do that, you'll pour the liquid over the crystal. It should take care of the rest. While I don't anticipate anything bad happening to you, I still want you to be careful. Above us, to the east, is Fellwood. If that crystal is tied to that place as I suspect it is, then it could prove to be very dangerous. Hey, Jololo again. Greetings, lad. Um, if you're looking for the best I need water. you find outside of Iron Fresh Peggy, water, sir, Peggy. Then you've come to the right place. All right, let's first talk to uh, this big boy right there. Weapon, general goods. Okay, hopefully he has some fresh Thank spring water. He does. Quality. There you go. And just I, plenty enough. I, it's no surprise how nice. tainted this water is, but just look at how putrid it is becoming. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later, eh, adventurer? To our east is Fellwood. It is the real source of this corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict this sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here. But Talk to in this order big to boy? even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, oh. adventurer, I hope you will be able to give the aid we need. I will just keep it in there. Don't you worry. It's the fisherman. The source of Furbolg corruption is from the satyr. Right mouse click here or left mouse click on the item uh, next to. Yep. Channel magic through. If the Furbolg have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the satyr corruptor and take that talisman. Do you have it? Fill this bowl at our moon well and take no, you samples don't. of the Furbog's food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Left one, Any empty Furbogs cleansing bowl. Any eat will be cleansed just long enough to lure out the satyr corruptor. Who then you must slay. Many thanks, adventurer. These mushrooms are fine specimens. And when you were at Cliff Spring Falls, did you find anything to confirm the warnings of the ancients? The ancients are wise, but I had hoped that this now time she has? they were wrong. Onu, an ancient of lore at the Grove of the Ancients, knows of your journey to Cliffwater Falls and wishes to speak with you. The Grove lies to the south, nestled near the mountains. The ancients are patient. I take the gloves and I will wear it. But if Onu seeks your counsel concerning what you saw in the falls, then I fear it is urgent. You have fought for Aberdeen with bravery and honor, adventurer. In our war-torn lands, death and despair are common. Many will not rise to meet the challenge of life in our new home, choosing instead to hide in their homes or escape to the more fortified lands of the Alliance. Thank you, adventurer. Perhaps someday soon we shall fight alongside his comrades versus another foe. Maybe one day we will indeed. But yeah, by that side, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.